Okay, so this is the next part of the DX7 Yamaha Synth Revival project. And one thing I've noticed is that this has a battery on the, the circuit board. It's such a pain to replace. You have to take so much of the circuit board out and I just can't be true of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the battery and we're going to put our, um, a battery on flying leads on. And that allows us to Velcro it to some part of the inside the case. And then if you want to replace it, we can do that very easy. We don't need to take out all the screws that hold the circuit board on. This is an old synth. These wires are getting old. I really don't want to move anything more than I have to. So a little bit of soldering and we've got the battery out. And then we can put on the flying leads battery holder. And then I've got some Velcro that I use for pedal boards. So I'm just going to cut out a little square of that. This is really sticky stuff, so I don't have any worries about this coming off. And I'm going to stick on the battery just to this metal plate here. And that's going to make changing the battery so much easier. And it's just trying to kind of make the, the synth future proof. I've been watching quite a few tutorials and demonstrations on this synth while I've been working on it. I do think I'm going to enjoy playing with this. So if anything that makes life easier, I'm going to do. But yeah, that's it for this part. Next part, we're going to try and finish off the keypad.